Oh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this week, obviously, it's right in front of you. You see what we're going to be looking at. Uh, it took me a little while, well, basically a year since they launched uh, in October of 2021, I believe it was, uh, that I finally have the entire Wave 1 of Super 7's reaction figures. Um, and actually, if you paid attention a while back, I posted I'd gotten the first five, and then the Borg my uncle actually gave me as a sort of uh, belated birthday gift. So, I, you know, I don't normally go over packaging, but I just, I had to show these because I actually do appreciate these packages. They look really nice. Um, the, the one issue I will say that kind of bugs me with the Borg one is that they didn't at least try to find a Borg that sort of looked like the Borg that they ended up using. Um, <laughs> otherwise... Uh, you'll notice that Picard, Worf, and Data all come with a little phaser, but nobody else comes with any kind of accessories. Um, we will start to take a look at those here in just a minute. Uh, I'm not going to open these on screen because I know that that's always annoying for people. So we're just going to jump cut and see the open packages. Okay, first up we got Captain Picard. Um, obviously these are, I've talked about in other videos, the cartoonish look of action figures, uh, especially like Playmates. I said that for me, Playmates has about a 60-40, 60% realistic, 40% cartoon, uh, whereas with these, I'd put it at almost reverse of that. It's more 60% cartoon, 40% realistic, um... And I think I said it a while back to someone that my honestly only prime issue with these is that the, all, all the figures are kind of barrel chested. That looks kind of odd. But I know that the reason for that is because they're all just squared out. Because all of the male figures use the exact same body. Um... In fact, Worf, the reason I can say that is because his his bandolier is actually removable, which I like. I do appreciate that. I could easily make a mold of that and make duplicates. But now you can see that he and Captain Picard actually have the exact same body. It's just a different color. But, anyways, the uh, head sculpts are really fun. Uh, like I said, it's kind of cartoonish, so it gives a little bit of that vague Patrick E. Stewart look. You know, with this one sort of vaguely looks like, you know, a Klingon officer who might be Worf. You know, that, that does not necessarily read as Brent Spiner to me. Um, this, if you can even see it in my hand, that's the phaser. I will put it in Data's hand to make it a little easier for you to see. Uh, it's not exactly pointed in any proper direction unless they hold it kind of down by their side. Then it would be pointed opposite of them. Um... Even uh, Wesley has the hand for holding the phaser, but unfortunately he doesn't come with a phaser. I'm not sure why they didn't do that, or at least have him come with like a tricorder or a pad or something. Um, they're all, all of these joints are still really stiff from the uh, from just being out of the package. Uh, I do like the Guinan. That actually is a really really good sculpt of Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, her face looks fantastic. Um, do like the fact that even though she's wearing a skirt, it can be made to sit down so you can put her in a chair. Although Guinan didn't sit a whole lot on the show. Uh, and then the last one is the Borg, which is really quite fantastic. I mean, there is a lot of awesome details on this. Um, 
even even the little minute sculpting around the eyepiece and then it goes all the way around the back they they didn't shortcut and they did a great job with all of the wires and of course one thing I, I should point out that playmates can definitely learn from these is that they've got their uh trademark and copyright stuff here on the back of the legs where it's barely even noticeable on the flat leg and of course on the Borg's leg you might not even be able to pick that up on the camera if you look real close it says Super 7 right there um, now the one thing that is a slight annoyance with the Borg because they made two tubes going to his head from the same direction he can really only turn his head a little bit before you have to worry about stressing those uh, wires there on the back of his head. But all of the other figures, they can turn their heads all the way around. Arms go all the way around. And of course they can all sit proper that way. The legs don't go too far back, which is totally fine by me. Uh, and so they look really good. Because thankfully these do stand well on their own there we go uh, and then as i said in the as i said in the title of the video i do have a bonus to go along with this obviously i don't have wave two yet um hopefully i'll get those soon uh and be able to take a look at those but I am definitely late to the game on the original Star Trek figures that Super 7 put out several years ago. Um, but I have managed to get a hold of Mr. Spock. Which he perfectly fits in. Now the head sculpt on this is definitely not Leonard Nimoy like. That could be just about any skinny white guy with pointy ears. Um, they do have it where he's got his communicator on his back side. The tricorder does come off and can be worn like that. But uh, I hope to get a hold of more of the classic figures as I go along. But for now, these are the seven Super 7 reaction figures that I started with. And that's going to be it for now. And uh, I'll see you next time.